So I'm uh, Professor Con Tam. I am a, a hematologist uh, that work at Peter McCullum and St Vincent's Hospital uh, in Melbourne, and I have a special interest in B cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which includes mantle cell lymphoma. So the, 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 the prognosis of lymphoma actually depends on how well people respond. So obviously, if people have got very indolent disease, um, the, the minority where the disease does not require immediate treatment and remains stable for many years under observation, they're going to have a very good survival, um, probably uh, for as long as the disease remains quiet. Um, and for patients who undergo um, a stem cell transplant, as I said, the first remission can last as long as, you know, seven, eight, sometimes more than 10 years before they need to be retreated again. Now, when it needs to be retreated, the results are not as good the second time and the third time around, but we're still looking at life expectancies of 10 years or more, assuming they have a good response to the first transplant. For older patients who are not able to undergo a transplant, the remission durations are three to five years before they need to be retreated. So we're probably looking at a lifespan in excess of five years, most of which will be in good quality of life. 